a mathematics question that says find the angle N. This N which is here. You need to understand that here we are talking about the circle theorem, okay? For you to answer questions for circle theorem, you need to apply each theorem depending on the type of question which you are given, okay? Now, how can you find N here? You need to understand that here we are given a certain type of a triangle which is called isosceles triangle. This one here. How do I know that this is isosceles triangle? Because of these two lines you are seeing here. This simply means that the angle which is here, it is also equal to the angle which is there. It means that in the place, the angle here to be 40, even here up, it is 40 because of these two lines which you are seeing here. Okay? Now, is there a way we can find this angle N? No. Is there a way we can find this angle? Yes. How so? Because of that theorem which states that the opposite angles of the quadrilateral are supplementary. That simply means that if you add this angle and this angle, they're supposed to give us 180. Remember that this here is a quadrilateral. When I say quadrilateral, simply means that it has four sides. One, two, three, four. So meaning I have to solve for this one, that's when I'll get the value for N, okay? So it will be like this now. We say 125 there plus this one. This one, we can just name it to be Z equal to what? To 180 there. So this Z will come down equal to 180, this one. So when 125 comes inside, it will be minus 125 there, okay? We say Z now, okay? So now we say 180 minus 125, which is going to give me, so if you, you follow one, you give this one, it's going to give you 5. So there, it's going to give me 5 there. You have seen that? So 55 degrees. Now we know that since this angle, it is equal to this one, that simply means that N as well is equal to what? To 55 degrees.